begin tonight with a family dealing with tragedy in Lackawanna County. A disabled man became trapped this afternoon in a fire at his family's home in Dalton. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Espiot reports tonight from the neighborhood that's now trying to cope. Main Street is a street where everyone knows everyone. So people who live on the street say it's hard to see a neighbor's house go up in flames. Something you can't explain, but when you think about the people. Smoke um, filled the air Saturday right, afternoon sorry. as firefighters battled flames, which consumed this single family home, taking the life of a 31 year old disabled man who was confined to a hospital bed. My kids came outside and they said they smelled smoke. And I came out and I saw these ball of smoke going up into the air. And uh, we were actually there. And then the first responders came through. Neighbors say the family had lived in the home for more than 10 years. We're told by authorities the victim and his mother were inside the home when the fire broke out. Firefighters tried to save the man, but were unsuccessful because of the intense flames. And a half hour or so into it, we had a collapse basically of two thirds of the building. Luckily, no firefighters were injured. We Fire officials say the fire started inside but quickly spread, reaching a gas meter, causing an explosion. We had a fire exterior, interior, um, which at that point we had to pull back and go to a defensive mode for the safety of the firefighters. By the time firefighters got it under control, it was too late. The house a total loss. Neighbors say this is the second time tragedy has struck this street. We had a, a tragedy happen here about six, maybe it was four to six months ago where someone lost their life in the street. And for this to happen another time, this time with a fire, our community has been hit kind of hard. Because it is such a tight-knit community, neighbors say that it's a loss that will be felt by everyone. In Dalton, Rachel Espayat, Eyewitness News. The Lackawanna County Coroner is waiting to notify all family members before releasing the victim's identity. The American Red Cross is helping four others who lived in that fire-gutted home in Lackawanna County.